Uh, afternoon guys, uh, welcome back to the fish loop. Um, I thought today I would uh, touch on responsible fish keeping. Um, in the last week I've seen a couple of videos of um, people keeping fish together that simply just they don't fit together. Um, number one is they grow huge. Um, talking six foot plus, um, like the Pangasius catfish, the red tail catfish, um, the large common foot costumes, which grows to three foot. Um, all these fish kept together in a four or a five foot tank. And this includes Oscars, this includes an angel, this includes all the large fish or that you can think of this guy stuffed into one tank now unfortunately this is not an isolated incident this is not an isolated case um, people tend to think that the fish will only grow in proportion to the tank size this is not true um, unfortunately, some uh, food stores, they do tell customers that, uh, to make a sale, say, listen, um, this fish won't grow any bigger than 10 centimeters in your two foot tank. Uh, not true. Um, some fish do get stunted. Um, this means that the their body stops growing, but the internal organs keep growing. So in effect, uh, everything inside has got no space to go, so it just keeps on growing until the fish just dies from complications. Um, I think uh, this is a very cruel um, way to go. Uh, imagine yourself uh, having to have adult organs in a six-year-old child, uh, there's just no space. Um, the same applies to fish. They grow to that size for a reason. Um, and unfortunately, some of these fish are available uh, in the trade as juveniles and as fry, to be honest. Um, and you think, oh, what a nice fish. And you buy it and it ends up becoming a monster. And uh, this is also partly the cause of um, invasive species in our waterways. It's because people buy these fish without doing their research, number one. Uh, the pet shop not being honest, number two. Uh, and not all pet shops. Uh, I need to just emphasize that fact. Uh, unfortunately, education in the hobby is very limited. Um, I thought it was more um, widely known and more widely accepted, but it's not. Um, and it's still being um, preached, I think, uh, by some pet shops that um, these large fish are compatible in smaller tanks and guys <laughs> you can go do your research on google um go to google pangasius go to google red tail catfish and you will see the sizes that these things get um they are not suitable for your everyday hobbyist you need a pond not a big tank you need a pond and I'm talking swimming pool size. Um, they are not fish to be kept in a fish tank. Um, you could argue and say, okay, I've got an eight foot tank or I've got a 10 foot tank. Uh, they will outgrow them too. Uh, the shovel nose catfish, for instance, uh, has got the nickname Tank Buster for a reason. Um, they uh, if they get a fright, they can literally swim through the glass. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's not a fish um, that you can keep uh, in a glass tank. Um, and also the amount of fish in the tank. I mean, logic would say that there would be a limit. Um, yes, filtration plays a role, um, but you can only push filtration so much. Uh, you can only push uh, water husbandry so much. Um, and it comes down to the fish being comfortable or not. Um, if a fish turns around in the tank and it bumps into two of its neighbors because there's simply no space, then you have a problem. Uh, this goes for large fish as well as small ones. Um, you can't expect to keep a hundred neons in a two foot tank and they'll be comfortable. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's not good for the fish. Um, I know that people say, oh, but I keep this and I keep this many and that many and this many in the tank. And they, they are quite happy. I'm, I disagree. Um, no fish can be happy in an enclosed space in that amount of numbers. Um, it can't be healthy. It can't be uh, conducive to them uh, thriving. Um, it's, it's just not, uh, it's not, just not feasible. So guys, please, um, when you go to a pet shop and also, this is another thing, you need to find a pet shop that has got a reputation for being um, honest, for being helpful, and for having the right information. And that don't just sell fish for the sake of selling fish. Um, we need to support these shops rather than the others. Uh, do your research beforehand. Um, we live in an era where we have literally a plethora of information available on almost any topic. Um, so if you're interested in a catfish or a tetra or an Oscar, go research and have a look. Use your WhatsApp groups. Um, ask questions. Beforehand, um, there's a there's always a thing of when you go to the doctor and he tells you he gives you bad news, you get a second opinion. So get a second opinion. Um, ask around and make an educated decision based on educated people's advice. Um, don't just go out and buy for the sake of buying. Um, find out which fish are compatible with the ones that you want to keep. Temperature wise, size wise, temperament wise, um, water parameters wise. Um, it is a matter of taking an hour and doing some research. It is not rocket science. Um, and at the end of the day, you will be a more uh, established and happy aquarist than having to struggle all the time. And you have to visit the pet shop once a week to replace the three or four, four or five or six fish that died because of bad information. So yeah, research in this hobby is very important. Um, I remember in the old days we used to uh, have books, um, which were also very few and far between. And that is where you got your information from and from friends that were hopefully already established in the hobby and that could help and guide you in the right direction. We still have that today. But now we have access to the internet. And I must tell you that there is almost no answer you cannot find. Uh, or question that you can't find the answer for. 
Um, it's just a matter of reading up and comparing answers and then getting second opinion. So yeah, guys, please, um, when, when you, if you want to start out keeping fish, uh, do some research before and speak to people that have tanks, that have experience. Join a WhatsApp group, join a Facebook group. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, ask, you know, and this is the only way that we learn. I mean, uh, you, you can't learn something if you don't ask a question. So, yeah, please guys, before you start keeping a tank, or if you keep a tank, or if you have a tank already, um, be responsible. Um, you are the curator of living things. Um, not only, only the fish, but the plants and everything in your tank is alive. And you are the curator. And you are responsible. Uh, so take that responsibility and be a proper aquarist, be a proper fish keeper, be a proper hobbyist. Well, that's all from me today. Thanks guys for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.